Now in this video I'm going to show you Wiley Interscope, two views here. You can have um, a web view or the full Wiley GUI. I'm going to show the full Wiley GUI. So you put in your commonly known password, admin89, connect to the right enterprise manager, wait for Wiley to connect up and render the, um, the HTTP or the, the, the web pages. So once that comes in, you get two views. You get a console and an investigator. So it starts off as, as an investigator screen. We're going to flick out to the console. So the console is um, the screens or the skins that SAP has built. So you can see the red uh, traffic lights will tell you if you've got any errors. So we're going to drill down to the host CPU usage here. Have a look at the Java heap usage. And if we scroll down, you can have a look at the threads in use. So now we can have a look um, back at the overview. We're going to have a look at the triage now. So the triage gives you the most commonly used graphs uh, for debugging errors or to, to see how performance is, is tracking. So here you can see the, the front end uh, performance. Now if we uh, flick back up to the main screen and then we're going to drill down into the ABAP triage. So this is showing all my ABAP systems. So because it's quite busy, I might uh, use a lens to narrow down the field of view. So I might pick uh, one or two hosts here. And once I apply that, it simplifies the graphs a little. If I hover my cursor over the top of uh, a line, it will tell me um, some of the metrics and the servers in question. So it shows me logged on users, work processes, the gateway, the ICM connections, background work processes, all, all the things that would be useful. How the updates and the NQs are going. So again, I can change the time range. So I can have a look, you know, for five minutes or an hour. I can change uh, the resolution. So I may want to only see uh, one hour, or I might want to flick out to, to 24 hours on the one graph. And resetting the lens. And now I want to drill down, and I want to show the investigator. So I want to find some specific metrics. So I'm going into my PI system here. So I'll start at the traffic light view. So this gives me an overview of uh, what might be uh, bad if, I, if I've got an error on my hands. So I've got a, an amber light here, so I might go after that guy. So the next thing I want to do is uh, drill down and try and find some of, this, uh, some of the errors. So I'm going to go down into the back end and there's a couple of errors there on the screen. So I might uh, highlight those and drill down and this will give me the details of the error. So obviously it's in red, something to be followed up in, in OSS. I might have a look at some graphs to find out uh, how the garbage collection uh, has been tracking. So if I have a look at uh, the heap used during the garbage collection uh, and if I change uh, the time range to have a look at an hour, you can see the pattern here. So it uh, builds up the heap and then lets it go. So that's a, that's a healthy looking uh, heap. And then I can change, change the time to go back and forward. The last thing I want to leave you with uh, is getting Wiley to generate a, a PDF report for distribution. So here you can ask the workstation uh, to build you a report. You have a number of things you can select on the report. I'll just take the host, uh, the host metrics, wait for the Adobe to render up. And once you've got it, uh, you can flick through. So I've got 20 pages of, of guff here, which you can have a look at and send through uh, as, as a performance report. Easy to build, uh, easy to use. Uh, it's it's probably the best way you're gonna you're gonna monitor your Java, your your, your Java processes and your 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 backends.